Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lemuel E. Hernandez, your Pinoy math teacher. Magandang araw mga kaalamat. Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa trigonometry. It is the study of the relationship between the angles of triangles and their sides. Nakakamangha na ang daming mathematical ideas ang nabuo ng dahil lang sa three sides at three angles ng isang triangle. Ang ilan sa mga ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo katulad ng kung paanong makukuha ang sukat ng sides at angles gamit ang six trigonometric functions. Bago tayo magtungo dyan ay alamin muna natin ang pinagmula ng salitang trigonometry. The etymology of trigonometry comes from the Greek words trigonon na nangangahulugang triangle at metron ang ibig sabihin ay measure. Kaya naman ang lessons natin ay iikot lang sa sukat ng triangle. Kaunting kaalamat, ang kinikilalang father of trigonometry according to Google ay si Hipparchus isang Greek astronomer, geographer at mathematician. Ginamit niya yung table of trigonometric ratios sa kanyang astronomical work. Take note na noong panahon nila ay hindi pa uso ang calculator kaya hindi basta-bastang nakukuha ang value ng trigonometric functions. Ang trigonometry ay pwedeng pag-aralan gamit ang dalawang approaches. Ang una ay gamit ang circular functions which involve angles and angle rotations. Dito ay gagamit ng unit circle sa pagtalakay sa trigonometric functions. Ang pangalawang approach ay gamit ang trigonometric functions para pag-aralan ng triangles at mga applications nito. At ito ang ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. Gamit ang right triangle na ito ay ide-define natin yung six trigonometric functions. Yung maliit na square na ito sa isang sulok ng triangle ang palatandaan natin na ito ay right triangle. Meaning, ang sukat ng angle na ito ay 90 degrees. Take note that the sum of the measures of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. So yung natitirang dalawang acute angles ay may kabuo ang sukat na 90 degrees din. Doon naman tayo sa kung paano itong pinapangalanan. Mahirap din kasi minsan pag walang label. Ang common practice ay gamit ang capital letters. Say for example, this is triangle a, B, C. So we have three angles, namely angle A, angle B, and angle C. So angle C measures 90 degrees. Maisingit ko lang din, kapag ang narinig ninyo ay angle, American pronunciation yun. Kapag naman angle, tama rin yun dahil yun naman ay British pronunciation. Sa so balik tayo, ang bawat angles ay mayroong opposite side. At ang label na gagamitin natin ay small letter ng angle na opposite sa kanya. So for angle A, ang opposite side niya ay yung side BC. Ito yung small letter A or side A. Mula naman sa perspective ng angle B, yung side na opposite sa kanya ay yung side AC. At papangalanan natin itong side B. And last, we have the side opposite angle C. Tatawagin natin side C. This is the longest side also known as the hypotenuse. Gamit yung tatlong sides ng ating right triangle, denoted by small letter A, B, and C, ay makukuha natin yung six trigonometric functions ng acute angles. Gagamitin natin yung Greek letter theta para malaman kung alin sa dalawang acute angles yung kinukuha na natin ng trigonometric functions. Ito ay maaaring nakapwesto sa angle A, or kaya naman ay nandoon sa angle B. Dito na lang natin ilagay sa angle A as our default. Ito yung 6 trigonometric functions na tinutukoy ko. So we have sine, cosine, and tangent or yung big 3. At syempre yung kanilang reciprocal. So we have cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Ang pronunciation ko dati dyan ay cosecant at Second, pero thanks to Google. Cosecant and secant pala yun. Now I'm going to share a mnemonic with you na halos lahat ng nakapag-take ng trigonometry class ay alam or familiar dito. This is Sokatoa. Para doon sa So, so S is for sine. 
O means opposite and H means hypotenuse. So, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Yung SIN na yun ay pinaigsing sine. So, yung side na opposite sa angle A or theta ay yung side A. At syempre, yung hypotenuse ay yung side C. Or sine theta equals A over C. Kung sakali namang yung theta ay nandoon sa angle B, mababago yung side na opposite niya. Pero sa mga examples ko, hayaan lang muna natin yung theta sa angle A. Para doon sa ka, C is for cosine, A is for adjacent, and H is for hypotenuse. So we have cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Yung side na adjacent sa theta, in this case, ay yung side B. May mga nalilito kung paano itong mahanap. Ang isipin mo lang ay, sa tatlong sides ng right triangle ay hypotenuse na yung isa doon. Yung isa naman ay yung side na opposite niya. Yung adjacent side ay yung hindi opposite at hypotenuse. So that is side B. And syempre, ang denominator ay hypotenuse. Or we have cosine theta equals B over C. Para doon sa towa, so T means tangent, O means opposite, and A means adjacent. So tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent side. Yung opposite side ay A, at yung adjacent side ay B, or tangent theta equals A over B. Para sa remaining 3 trigonometric identities na hindi ko pa nababanggit, ito yung reciprocal ng sine theta, cosine theta, at tangent theta. Para sa sine theta, ang reciprocal identity niya ay cosecant theta, abbreviated as CSC. Ang cosecant theta ay equal sa hypotenuse over opposite. So, binaligtad lang natin yung doon sa sine. If sine theta equals A over C, then cosecant theta equals C over A. The next, we have cosine theta. Ang reciprocal niya ay secant theta, abbreviated as SEC. Secant theta equals hypotenuse over opposite. So, if cosine theta equals B over C, then secant theta equals C over B. Last, we have tangent theta. Ang reciprocal niyan ay cotangent theta, COT in short, at cotangent theta equals adjacent over opposite. If tangent theta equals A over B, then cotangent theta equals B over A. Let us find the value of each of the six trigonometric functions of the angle theta in the given figure. So we have a right triangle with sides 3, 4, and 5. Ang longest side ay yung 5. So this is the hypotenuse. Para sa sine theta, so sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So ang opposite side niya ay 4. And yung hypotenuse naman ay 5. So for sine theta, that is equal to 4 over 5. Para naman sa cosine theta, so that is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine theta equals 3 over 5. And sa tangent theta, so that is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tangent theta equals 4 over 3. Para sa remaining 3 trigonometric functions, ito yung reciprocal ng sine, cosine, and tangent theta. So, for cosecant theta, that is equal to 5 over 4. Para naman sa secant theta, that is equal to 5 over 3. So, reciprocal siya ng cosine theta. And then last, we have cotangent theta. So, that is equal to 3 over 4 kasi reciprocal siya ng tangent theta. At ito yung 6 trigonometric functions ng angle theta. 
Para sa ating next example, ang opposite side ng angle theta ay may sukat na 5 units, ang hypotenuse naman ay 13 units, at ang adjacent side ay missing or unknown. So sa right triangle, kapag ang isang side ay nawawala, maaari natin gamitin yung Pythagorean theorem kung saan c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So yung c dito, ito yung longest side. So in this case, that is 13. So para doon sa legs, so that is a and b, maaari natin dyan substitute yung 5. So kapag ka naman ganitong walang label yung triangle, kahit saan mo dyan i-substitute ay makukuha mo yung sagot. So ilagay na lang natin doon sa a. So we have 13 squared equals 5 squared plus b squared. So simplify natin. So we have 169 equals 25 plus b squared. So solve for b tayo. Transpose natin yung 25 doon sa left side ng equation. So we have 169 minus 25 equals b squared. So 169 minus 25 that is 144. So next to solve for b, kuhanin natin yung square root ng magkabilang side ng equation. So we have 12 equals b or b equals 12. So yung adjacent side ay may sukat na 12 units. Sin theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we have sin theta equals 5 over 13. Next, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine theta equals 12 over 13. Next, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So we have tangent theta equals 5 over 12. So next, Cosecant theta equals 13 over 5. So, reciprocal ng sine theta. So, next. Secant theta equals 13 over 12. And last, we have cotangent theta equals 12 over 5. So, reciprocal siya ng tangent theta. At ito ang 6 trigonometric functions ng angle theta. Paano naman kung sakaling ang hinahanap ay measure ng angle given yung length ng sides ng right triangle? Gamit yung sukat ng sides ng triangle sa previous example, ay ipapakita ko kung paanong makukuha yung measure ng angle theta. So pakihanda ang scientific calculator or any calculator with trigonometric functions. Kapag ang missing ay yung sukat ng angle at given yung sides, Ang gagamitin natin ay inverse sine, inverse cosine, or inverse tangent. Depende sa sitwasyon. Ito yung sa calculator ninyo ay may nakalagay na sine raised to negative 1, cosine raised to negative 1, at tangent raised to negative 1. Ito yung inverse trigonometric functions. Para mapalabas yan, kadalasan ay kailangan mong i-press yung shift button. Then press sine, cosine or tangent button. Depende sa kung ano yung kailangan. So we have angle theta equals inverse sine of 5 over 13. So type mo lang yan sa iyong calculator then press equal sign. So angle theta is approximately equal to 22.61986495 degrees. Ang ginamit kong symbol ay approximately equal to dahil lang nilagay kong value ng angle theta ay yung nakaround off to 8 decimal places. Ang totoo ay may mga karugtong pa yan dahil ito ay non-repeating and non-terminating decimal. Mas maraming decimal places para sa numbers na katulad yan ay mas accurate. Maraming possible answers dito depende sa kung ano ang instruction. Pag sinabing ang final answer ay dapat nakaround off to 2 decimal places, ang magiging sagot dyan ay angle theta is approximately equal to 22.62 degrees. May mga pagkakataon na ang may encounter ninyo ay hindi naka-express as decimal degree, but in degree, minute, and second. Kung saan ang 1 degree ay katumbas ng 60 minutes, 
at ang 1 minute ay katumbas ng 60 seconds. Para ma-convert ang decimal degree to degree minute and second or DMS, press nyo lang yung button na ito. So, degree, minute, and second. So, angle theta is approximately equal to 22 degrees, 37 minutes, and 11.51 seconds. Gamit naman ang cosine, so we have cosine theta equals 12 over 13. So, angle theta equals inverse cosine of 12 over 13. So, press equal sign. So, angle theta is approximately equal to 22.61986495 degrees. Or in DMS, so angle theta is approximately equal to 22 degrees, 37 minutes, and 11.51 seconds. So, katulad nung doon sa sine theta. Next, gamit naman yung tangent theta. So, solve for angle theta tayo. Angle theta equals inverse tangent of 5 over 12. So, press equal sign. So, angle theta is approximately equal to 22.61986495 degrees or in DMS. So, 22 degrees, 37 minutes, and 11.51 seconds. So, pare-pareha sila. Given sine theta equals 0.25, find the other functions of the acute angle theta. So, i-convert muna natin yung 0.25 sa fraction. So, yan ay katumbas din ng 1 fourth. Alam natin na ang sine theta ay equal sa opposite over hypotenuse. So, ibig sabihin, ang sukat ng opposite side ng angle theta ay 1 at ang sukat ng kanyang hypotenuse ay 4. Ang nawawala ay ang sukat ng kanyang adjacent side. So, gamit ang Pythagorean theorem na C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Substitute natin yung 4 doon sa C and then yung 1 naman sa A. Solve for B tayo. So, ang 4 squared ay equal sa 16 at ang 1 squared ay equal sa 1. So, we have 16 equals 1 plus B squared. So, transpose natin yung 1 sa left side na equation. So, we have 16 minus 1 equals B squared. Next, 16 minus 1, that is 15. So, 15 equals B squared. Kuha ni natin ang square root ng magkabilang side ng equation. So, we have square root of 15 equals B. Or, B equals square root of 15. At dahil alam na natin yung tatlong sides ng right triangle, madali na natin makukuha yung remaining 5 trigonometric functions ng acute angle theta. Alam natin na ang sine theta ay equal sa 1 fourth. Ang cosine theta ay equal sa adjacent over hypotenuse, so that is square root of 15 over 4. Ang tangent theta ay equal sa opposite over adjacent, so that is equal to 1 over square root of 15. Kaya lang ang kailangan natin ay walang radical sign sa denominator. So, kailangan natin itong irrationalize. So, 1 over square root of 15 times square root of 15 over square root of 15. So, that is equal to square root of 15 over 15. So, tangent theta equals square root of 15 over 15. Para sa cosecant theta, That is equal to 4 over 1 or simply 4. Next, ang secant theta equal sa 4 over square root of 15. So, kailangan din natin itong irrationalize. So, we have times square root of 15 over square root of 15. So, that is equal to 4 square root of 15 over 15. So, secant theta equals 4 square root of 15 over 15. And then last we have cotangent. So that is equal to square root of 15 over 1 or simply square root of 15. Solving a right triangle naman tayo. Pag sinabing kailangan mong isolve ang isang right triangle, kailangan mong ibigay ang sukat ng tatlong sides at tatlong angles. Example, solve the right triangle ABC with C equals 39 centimeters and 
angle A equals 40 degrees. Ang nawawala dito ay yung sukat ng sides A and B and measure of angle B. Maaari natin gamitin dito yung sine function para ma-solve yung side A knowing that angle A measures 40 degrees and hypotenuse equals 39 centimeters. Alam natin na ang sine ay equal sa opposite over hypotenuse. Kapag hindi present ang theta ay gamitin ang capital letter na nagko-correspond sa angle na kinukuha na natin ng trigonometric function. So in this case, that is angle A. So sine 40 degrees equals A over 39. Mag-cross multiply tayo to get rid of the denominator. So we have 39 times sine 40 degrees equals A or A equals 39 times sine 40 degrees. Pakitype lang yan sa inyong calculator then press equal. So A is approximately equal to 25.07 centimeters rounded to 2 decimal places. Para sa mga sukat ng side sa examples ko rito, ay nagra-round off ako to 2 decimal places. Kuhanin naman natin yung sukat ng side B. So, dalawa yung pwede natin gamitin dito. Pwede natin gamitin ang tangent function o kaya naman ay cosine function. So, try natin yung cosine. So, cosine A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So, cosine 40 degrees equals B over 39. So, mag-cross multiply tayo dito para matanggal yung denominator. So, 39 times cosine 40 degrees equals B. So, gamit ang inyong calculator. So, B is approximately equal to 29.88 centimeters. Last ay kuhanin naman natin ang sukat ng angle B. So, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. So, 40 degrees plus angle B plus 90 degrees equals 180 degrees. So, 40 plus 90 is 130. So, we have angle B plus 130 degrees equals 180 degrees. So, transpose natin yung 130 degrees doon sa right side ng equation. So, we have angle B equals 180 degrees minus 130 degrees. So, angle B equals 50 degrees. So, final answer na yan. Solving for angle theta naman tayo. So, ang kailangan natin dito ay yung sukat ng angle kung saan nakapwesto yung theta. So, ang given dito, sukat ng side na opposite sa angle theta and yung hypotenuse. So, opposite over hypotenuse. Gamitin natin yung sine function. So, we have sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine theta equals 10 over 12. To solve for angle theta, ang gagamitin natin dito ay inverse sine. So, theta equals inverse sine of 10 over 12. So, gamit ang inyong calculator. Angle theta is approximately equal to 56.4426902.4 degrees or in DMS, that is 56 degrees, 26 minutes, and 33.68 seconds. Para sa example na ito, ang given ay yung sukat ng side na adjacent sa angle theta at yung sukat ng hypotenuse. So, adjacent over hypotenuse. Pwede natin gamitin dito yung cosine function. So, cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So, cosine theta equals 6 over 14. So, to solve for angle theta, ang gagamitin natin dito ay inverse cosine. So, we have theta equals inverse cosine of 6 over 14. So, gamit ang inyong calculator. Angle theta is approximately equal to 64.6230667 degrees or in DMS 64 degrees 37 minutes and 23.04 seconds. Para sa example na ito, Ang given ay yung side na opposite sa angle theta at yung sukat ng side na adjacent sa kanya. So, opposite over adjacent. 
pwede natin gamitin yung tangent function para dito. So, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So, we have tangent theta equals 8 over 3. So, angle theta equals inverse tangent of 8 over 3. So, gamit ang inyong calculator. So, we have angle theta is approximately equal to 69.4439547 degrees or in DMS, 69 degrees, 26 minutes, and 38.24 seconds. So, final answer na yan. Solve for X naman tayo. So, ang bibigay natin dito ay yung sukat ng side na may label na X. So, para sa example na to, ang given ay side opposite angle 25 degrees. So, that is 12 cm. And ang hinahanap natin ay hypotenuse. So, that is x. So, opposite over hypotenuse. So, pwede natin gamitin dito yung sine. So, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine 25 degrees equals 12 over x. So, mag-cross multiply tayo dito. So, we have x times sine 25 degrees equals 12. So, next, mag-divide tayo both sides by sine 25 degrees para ma-cancel na siya dito sa left side. So, we have x equals 12 over sine 25 degrees. So, gamit ang inyong calculator, we have x is approximately equal to 28.39 centimeters. So, yun na yung sukat ng hypotenuse. Para naman sa right triangle na ito, yung nawawala ay yung adjacent side ng angle 30 degrees. And given yung sukat ng hypotenuse, which is equal to 7 cm. So, adjacent over hypotenuse. So, pwede natin gamitin dito yung cosine. So, we have cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So, cosine 30 degrees equals x over 7. So, mag-cross multiply tayo to get rid of the denominator. So, we have 7 times cosine 30 degrees equals x. So, gamit ang inyong calculators. We have x equals 7 square root of 3 over 2 centimeters or that is approximately equal to 6.06 .06 centimeters. Last example na tayo. So, ang given dito ay yung side opposite angle 50 degrees and yung nawawala naman ay yung side na adjacent sa kanya. So, opposite over adjacent. So, pwede natin gamitin dito yung Tangent. So, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So, tangent 50 degrees equals 4 over x. So, mag-cross multiply tayo. So, x times tangent 50 degrees equals 4. So, divide natin both sides by tangent 50 degrees para makancel na siya dito sa left side. So, we have x equals 4 over tangent 50 degrees. So, gamit ang inyong calculator. Pakitype nyo lang yan. So, x is approximately equal to 3.36 centimeters. So, final answer na yan.